In the previous lesson, we learned how to create a item with Scrapey project. And here we have created our own item class that is the ebook item. Now we can go ahead and import this inside of our spider module that is ebook. And to do that, we can just use our project name that is ebook scraper because you will see we have a initpy right here. So this is a package. So I can just write from our ebook scraper. You can see we have that option right here. And from that ebook scraper, we will import the items module. So dot items. And from that very module, we want our ebook item. So from our ebook scraper items, import the ebook item like this. Now, of course, if you want, you can also use the parent import that is from our parent items, you can import the same ebook item like this. Either way, the best way to do is using the project name that is ebook scraper right here because this is more readable. So now we can use our ebook item to create a item inside of our for loop when we are creating our ebooks or yielding the data. So I'll just minimize the explorer and here I'll just create a ebook. So we are naming the ebook like this. So I can just create ebook item like this. And then we'll just create a object of our ebook item, which we just imported, same named items. So ebook item. And then instead of creating variables, we will just use the ebook item object, which we created. And then we'll slice out the name, that is the title in this case. And that would be equals to this value, that is the attributes title value. And similarly, we can create or store the price that is ebook item, slice out the price, and that would be equals to the price value. And now instead of yielding a dictionary, we will just yield our ebook item like this. Now let's go ahead and run our spider to see what we did. That is, we just structurized our extracted data into classes that is scrapey items. So let's run our spider that is scrapey crawl our ebook spider and then it will just run and we will have our data that is you can see we have a dictionary that is the same things that is the price and the title now one thing to note here is that i didn't output it the data and i can do that as well that is i can run our spider and then just output the data into a file let's say ebooks.json and then if I hit enter, the data will be extracted to the ebooks JSON, which would be in our project. So here you can see we have ebooks JSON, and you can see we have a list of all the products, that is the title and the price. So this is how we can create items to structureize our scraped data and then extract it to a different file like this. So that's how we use scrapey items in our scrapey project.